okay guys we're back and in this video we're going to be adding links like I told you in the in the ending of the last video we're going to be adding web links document links and topic links and sheet links <laughs> so let's begin first thing I'm going to do I'm going to click on main topic 5 and then I'm going to name this adding links okay and then we've already done this before I want four subtopics because those are the subtopics that are going to have the links on them. So I'm going to do what? Yes, that's correct. Hit the tab key four times. One, two, nope, not four times. Why didn't somebody stop me? I need to click, tab, click, tab, click, tab. All right, and then we're going to go through the process. I wish there was a way that these could be set to the color that you want. There probably is a setting somewhere in there but I haven't found it so anyway we're just gonna do it this way and I'm gonna stay consistent with my color and then we're gonna name these this is web link web links if I can spell correctly okay and then what was the other one document links yeah document links document 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 links okay enter and then what was the other one topic links and then the other one was sheet links alright there we go we have all of our links in place now to add a link really simple we're gonna first add a web link so I'm gonna click on my web link subtopic of adding links right click and then right here hyperlink and then I'm going to choose a URL. You can put anything you want here. I'm going to choose Google. G-O-O-G-L-E. Okay. Now this is cool. Once you add links in here, it will open that internal browser for this software. So I've added my hyperlink for the web page. Click OK. Alright. There we go. Now, let's test this link. Bam. There you go. Alright. So that's a web link. Now we're going to add a document link. So click on document link. Right click go to hyperlink and then go to file and then what I want to do is choose a file that your folders match on your computer so let's say you have a folder called uh, xmine both of you guys would have a folder called xmine and that folder both of you guys folder would be located on that desktop so at the same time when he gets the file or she gets the file she can put it in <laughs> but that's the long way but if you're linking files and you're doing like a webinar or whatever and you want to show a PDF or something that you created then add the file you know just add the file here and it'll take you straight to the document instead of you having to get out of the program itself and then go open it right so let's choose a file and there is a PDF or I can just a word document and then we'll click OK and now when I click on this it should open up my document which is right there cool isn't that cool I know now topic links same idea right click hyperlink and then topic and then from the topic you can link to any topic that you want so let's say I want to link to topic 9 I'll click on it choose it click OK and then when I click it it goes to topic 9 as you can see it did right there let's do that again let's go back up here let's click the link and there it is it went straight to topic 9 alright pretty cool and to see that more effectively why don't we just scroll up so we don't see the rest of the topics in view and then click 9 you can see it scrolled up scroll down to the spot where it needs to be now for sheet links right click this one's kinda located somewhere else so you need to go to insert and then you come over here all the way down to the bottom you see it says new sheet from topic click that and what that does it automatically creates a new sheet for you within your document and you can see that sheet right down here okay and here's sheet one sheet two okay alright so let's go back to our mind map so when we test this it should automatically go to sheet two which is right here okay so when I click it boom it takes me to sheet two so why is this cool I'll tell you why really simple let me go back to sheet one let's say you wanted to create a whole new topic about 
sheet links okay and then you can break sheet links down you know like cre uh, whatever you can have topics on top of that I can't really think of anything off the top of my head but that's how you do it alright so that's the video on adding links pretty cool you can just go to town and have fun with it okay so what are we doing when we come back I have to look and see there we go we are going to be adding images markers and adding attachments okie dokie so I'll see you guys in the next video actually let me copy this now so we don't waste any time when we get there so I'll copy that control C and we're gonna put that right here because that's what we're oops paste that in there we go alright so when we come back we're gonna pick up right here then we're gonna add what we need to add images attachments and all that good stuff so I'll see you in the next video